certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one, step two, before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedowns. If you dare stand and strike with him, is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it's gonna be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I wanna see how this plays out. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landing by the gentleman. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Anderson. Oh, a combination lands and it like almost every strike down the table. So accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. Right hand punches the clip. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice kick there by Anderson. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful level change leads to the takedown. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him there. Absolutely, he is comfortable, he is home when he's in on a single leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Just out of range with the big right hand. Nice leg kick. Nice punch by Anderson. Trying to find a home for that right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses there with the left. Back 
to the overhand right. Not there. Oh, eats a knee. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Great punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. That kick blocked by Anderson. Right on the button. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Dig and kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, that's a good right hand. Anderson gets another takedown. He's one of the better takedown artists in this featherweight division. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Look at the turtle in that kick. Just missing on the uppercut there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Round two next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Oh, double jab there by the Korean Super Bowl. Anderson's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And he's looking for that left, it's not there. Nice punch there by Shore. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, Give him the hook, another beautiful takedown. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and bring down big strikes in your opponent. All right, single collar tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Chor. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. All 
Jafar working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you've got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish. Down. Oh, he might be out. Landing in a pretty decent clip. And they separate. Looked like he might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Choi. Big leg kick land. Choi gets caught with that punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Big head kick lands. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice punch there. Oh, nice kick. These guys are going at it. Big punch from the clinch. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Straight right is there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. This can change the fight. Another takedown play. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown. Anderson's got him in a crucifix. Going to work from the top now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round. He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight at this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect the fighters to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Oh, nice punch there by Anderson. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, there's the swing, and there's the miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Good level change, Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside, this dude's going for a while. Takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, side control now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity path to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Nice punch lands over the top. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Choi strike attempt there is blocked. Anderson's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. He's back in switch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, nice entry into the finish directly. All right, 
So inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Effective punch there by Anderson. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, lands the double jab. Those are gonna start to take their effect. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's got the hooks in, DC, working off his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Do Ho Choi! All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. All right, with that, the official decision is in. We go to the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Chong. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout.